always busy cleaning. Well, what I did today, went to the butcher and I got a lot of those uh, shavings that they cut into the meat and I have to store it somewhere. So, this little deep freeze that I've got here, cleaning it out, switched it on, it's already getting cold, wiping it, making sure it's absolutely clean because you don't want to store a lot of meat and have a smelly fridge. That's the worst thing that you can have. So this is the other one I do have. This one is almost empty. Still a couple of days of supply. Maybe about three or four days of supply of meat in here. And then I will have to clean it. That is all ice. As the chicken defrosted some of it. That is ice and stuff. So then I'll get a chance to clean this one perfectly clean. So yeah. Something you have to keep in mind. You're going to have to store a lot of meat for the tigers. So, and for the cats for that matter. So yeah, that is how you do it. You have to just constantly make sure that you will be able to live with having tigers if you decide to do that. So I don't recommend it at all. I just thought they could just give some tips. Should you ever run into a tiger little cub somewhere in the world and you are able to take it in and there's no other way then there's a procedure that you have to follow to do this so yeah daisy she has almost got a free pass to go everywhere in the house at the moment because <laughs> she just leaps over the fences and things she is not easy to control enzo he just saw me carrying in all that meat and Diego <laughs> Diego <laughs> These two boys are always busy with something. Let me just let Daisy go through. I hope she doesn't bark again. Ah, that was great. <laughs> so yeah. Hello Diego. <laughs> really friendly today Just look at him he wants to lick me but don't put your finger inside the tiger's mouth I'll be taking a walk to the other side mother cat now the thing is you have to be prepared if you have tigers you need to have a couple of days of food ready at any time because you ain't gonna be telling these tigers listen there's no food tonight you're not eating ain't gonna happen you have to keep them happy you've got them I have to keep them fed I say feed them once a day and I think that is the right way to do it Diego is always a little bit overweight but I think it's just because he's a little shorter than Enzo look at his legs they're a little shorter than Enzo so, yep, Enzo do have longer legs, Good. that's the easiest way to know them apart as well, just to know exactly what they, what's the difference between them. Yep. Hi guys, thanks for watching, just a quick little video about where to keep your meat. I don't think you need a huge industrial fridge if you've got about two or three tigers. Just these normal domestic ones are great, they work well. And also if you can get the meat frozen, then it's quite easy to just keep it fresh. Because if you've got meat that is at room temperature or warmer and you have to freeze it, those deep freezers can take a couple of days to get it frozen. And you can get some how can I put it? The meat might go off a little bit. So you have to be quite quick with that. Make sure that you store it, that the seals and stuff is good on those deep freezers and that there's electricity, electricity supply, a constant supply. Because if it goes down, you might have a big problem. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.